My name is Victor Bullock. I'm with FOCO. Uh, we are a licensed sports novelty company. I'm the operations manager here at our location in Maumelle. This is Jason Chandler. I'm a project manager here on site. I've been with the company for about two years now. I relocated from our New Jersey headquarters about a year ago to assist with the daily operations, especially given the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, FOCO is an acronym for Forever Collectibles. Uh, it's a company that's been around I think in the 20 years, Forever Collectibles was started with a Beanie Baby type plush bear. And then it grew to now we have over 60,000 individual items for sale in our warehouse. Bobblehead has probably been this year our newest big push that we're making something new once or twice a week and they're selling really well. Masks have sold well since the pandemic started and they're still one of our top sellers right now. Beyond that we have house shoes, flip-flops, shirts, shorts, I mean keychains, koozies, almost anything you could think of that, that has any, any sports team name on it. From the NFL, MLB, NHL, college, am I missing anything? We have some WNBA products as well. They go all over the country and most parts of the world. They're expanding to most of Europe now, so we do have a location in the UK um, expanding to Germany this year and then it'll continue on from that um, but the packages go everywhere we, wherever they order it from that's where we ship it to the pandemic did bring some challenges we created masks as uh, the pandemic started so our volume spiked through the roof but we wanted to make sure we kept everyone safe um, you know on, on our busiest days total in the day between two shifts we had about 350 people yes um, you know and with the social distancing making sure the masks are all there um, hand sanitizing stations throughout the building um, and we also have a thermal imaging camera to check everybody's temperature on their way in too um, you know just just keeping all of those standards with that many people was was a little challenging I know a lot of businesses throughout the world really really struggled but FOCO forever collectibles we thrived, whether it was people being at home, um, throughout headquarters, and all the different departments in our in our company. We really thrived last year. It was uh, it was a scary year, and but it was impressive, and we're all very proud of what we did. There's a lot closer communication between the police department, the fire department. Um, when, when we get real busy, sometimes you have a lot of people here late at night, and it's nice that we can call the police department up. And they'll come sit. And, and just make sure that we're safe here. Uh, just with the volume of people that we have sometimes, you, you need that presence to stay safe and feel safe. I think the best thing about being in Maumelle versus say Little Rock for a bigger city is, is what we're doing right now. We have a lot of communication with the community here um, and sometimes in bigger cities, I don't think you would have that, but this is a probably a, a closer knit community here in Maumelle, which is what makes a difference. And that's what I see as the biggest advantage of being in Maumelle.